What's going on guys? I'm Chris and this is Regular Guy Training. Alright, so you guys have read the title and stuff like that and this is what we are looking at. We are looking at the BCM Lightweight Enhanced. Okay, now this is a pretty good, this is to, from what I've seen, this is actually a fantastic rifle. Uh, to the point where when you first get it, you'll end up doing worse than when you first started. Now here's the thing. Um, this rifle came about in February. Uh, this was given to the lady on Valentine's Day and all that stuff. So, had it, for, had it here for a few months. Put about 3,000 rounds through it since it came uh, together. Or rather, since uh, we got it here. Uh, I've used it a bunch, she's used it a bunch, and it's been through more than one class at this point. So, here's what you end up getting. Just running down this real quick. You end up with a with a very excellent key mod rail. Um, on here it is free floated, is also very lightweight, and aside of the fact that there's a hundred million dicks on this, and, and you know, have fun with that. Now that you've seen it, you can't unsee it. It also comes with a Cold Hammer Forge 1 and 7 twist lightweight profile barrel, or often referred to as a pencil profiled barrel. Uh, the BCM Gunfighter Comp up front, which is excellent. Uh, it's a 16 inch barrel, by the way, with a mid length gas system. And then the rest of the and then the rest of the AR is pretty much you know the same thing that you'd expect out of a regular AR, mil spec components and stuff like that. The only real difference is that there is a Magpul stock on here rather than the BCM stock. I personally just kind of prefer the new MOE, the way that they have it nice and sloped and low profile. I like it. Uh, also ended up putting on a couple other things like uh, the Surefire Protac 2, the little guy. Uh, I really do like this light and I will have to do a review on it uh, in the not so distant future because it's been doing really well. <coughs> I have several of them, and they've been working pretty good, so I'm going to have to go ahead and do a review on that soon. Midwest Industries, uh, front and rear sight, I really do like these as a set of, um, as a set of backups, uh, not just because they do well at um, having the right measurements and stuff to regular M4 uh, style specs as far as what the values are per individual click in the sights, but Quite unlike a lot of other uh, sight systems that are recommended very highly, once these guys are flipped up, they are locked until you fold them back down. I really do dig this about them because if I have to convert over to the irons, I'm going to be on the irons for a while and I'd really like to not have my gear and other things flip down these sights and keep them down. Never had any trouble with these sights and I'll just continue to use them for like ever. Now, uh, here's the following as far as the rifle's capabilities and all that jazz. Number one, um, Colt. The rifle shoots inch and a half groups with non-match ammunition, which I think is fantastic, because if you're inside an inch and a half to two inches, you're doing really good. Now, the concern that a lot of people have with lightweight profile barrels, specifically, is that after a couple of magazines, worth of shooting or less like some guys feel some guys feel they need to say that if it's like five rounds in it, the shot groups start to open up that's not the case this guy gets about a magazine and a half to two in before the shot groups start to open up a little bit and we're not talking like super hard use we're talking about you know a shot every couple of seconds that type of deal so if you're shooting faster you're probably going to get like a magazine or so if, uh, once the uh accuracy starts to open up and heavier profile barrels are not too terribly far behind it as far as accuracy is concerned but because it is a lighter weight profile barrel it won't retain its base accuracy as long as the heavier profile barrels like for instance if you have a SOCOM or M4A1 profile barrel in here or like the RWMD uh, rifle that I have that has a tapering profile barrel that starts real thick towards the end and then tapers down to a regular military profile after the gas um, after the uh, gas port and block then it retains its base accuracy for a little bit longer we're talking at most one to two extra magazines okay so what we're looking at here is after about a magazine and a half to two magazines the shot group on this guy opens up to about two to two and a half uh, inches um, at a hundred 
and if it has been shot a lot and this is past the point where even heavier profiled barrels would open up and we're talking like three four five magazines in um, it opens up to three ish so honestly for the profile of the uh, barrel it's actually quite impressive uh, simply because a lot of people would have you think that it is dramatically more than that and really it's not it, all of that is acceptable uh, fighting rifle accuracy so you know whatever now as far as just durability and reliability and stuff like that a lot of guys have um, thoughts on the uh, key mod rail and stuff like that that comes from BCM me personally as far as the key mod rail is concerned I have seen a couple of these get bent but the only reason why they were bent is because they hit some shit really really hard and it bent this thing in and honestly it's not like it kills the rifle okay and as far as the barrel profile is concerned that's not that big of a deal either because it's still steel it's still cold hammer forged steel so it, it's a little more rigid than a lot of uh, people on the interwebs would go ahead and and uh, try to make it seem okay and really that's the entire review it's basically huh it's a really light AR uh, to the point where it feels like really important things are missing and it's real easy to um, shoot this thing one-handed fully extended without the use of the stock or anything like that which is really nice if you're just carrying the thing around all day um, and I tell you what as far as what you can really ask for it's not impossible to obtain this thing and it's a really high quality rifle altogether so I hope you guys dig the short review on this. I'm probably going to end up doing a long-term review on this guy, too, mostly because it's not going anywhere, and it's going to have the crap shot out of it. So we'll see how it goes. But if you have any questions, throw that in the comments box below. If you want to support us on Patreon, go ahead and check that page out. We still have a lot of slots open for the $35, uh, for the $35 a month class uh, slots. If you want more details on that, check that out in the link in the description below. If you want to check out our discussion page for Facebook, also link in the description below. And remember, a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.